Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Ryan Thomas Woods, and today I am here with my great British friend, Alistair. Hey there, guys. And this week, we're going to be comparing delicious North American food to the bizarre British food that they have here in the UK. Bizarre? If anything, your food's bizarre. Oh, no, he didn't. So we went ahead and went shopping. I bought some British food and Ryan bought some American food. And I also had my family and friends bring over some Canadian food all the way from Canada. So we'll be trying some of that as well. I'm actually really excited for this. You should be. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. So you're a university student and you're really poor. What do you eat? Well, in Britain, we eat things called super noodles. They're about 69 pence each. And in Canada and America, we usually have something called craft dinner, or Katie for short. Oh, oh look my gosh, look at that. Already cooked for us. Well done, well done, magician. So Alistair is gonna try some KD. Oh, this, I'm not looking forward to this. Do you want ketchup on that? Ketchup? On macaroni yeah, and cheese? Yeah, everyone puts ketchup on macaroni and cheese. Well, usually everyone does. Oh, go on then. We got some Heinz ketchup here. Do it. Ready? Oh. Yummy. It's actually not that bad. I eat craft dinner all the time back home. It's actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. Processed, everything. You know it's gonna fuck up your arteries. Probably. But... Right, so now I'm going to try some super... Is that what they call them? Super noodles? Yeah, super noodles. This looks... <laughs> this looks horrendous. Do this big. Big bite. The, this doesn't taste as good as craft dinner. <laughs> This is the I can I eat so much. Noise. I know, craft dinner is the best. It's absolutely the best. So to wash down the nastiness of those super noodles, I have here some Sunny D, which is a drink I used to drink a lot as a child until they banned it because I had too much sugar, I think. Um, but I think they brought it back with less sugar. Oh. So Sunny D is where it's at. And I have for you a Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Capri Sun. It's Capri Sun. Isn't it? It's from Britain, British food. It's British. <laughs> so if you were at school, you weren't cool unless you had one of these in your lunchbox. Oh, it was actually goodness. the same as Sunny D. Like, you are only a cool kid if you had Sunny D. Cheers. Cheers. I actually really like it, yeah. Sunny it's, D is really good. This yeah. tastes like orange juice, though. Do you like it? Yeah, it's alright. It's pretty good. Mm, it's pretty I, don't think it, I don't think it's as good as I want my Sunny D back. Yeah. You can have that crap. <laughs> Canadians love crap peanut butter. And everyone knows British people love Marmite. I've never had Marmite, so this should be interesting. We usually eat it in a spoonful. Do you? Yeah. Okay, well I guess I'll have to eat it in the spoonful then. This looks disgusting. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my god! What? Oh my god! That is disgusting! I you going to throw it out? Oh, how you eat this in a spoonful? Oh my god. Oh my god. I may have been joking oh about the spoonful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. That looks like poo. <laughs> you just made me eat poo. Mm. You either love it or you hate it. Mm. That is disgusting. Oh. I see I had a pretty nice time, really, with my peanut butter. Do some more? No. Ooh, I don't want to. I'm going to leave. Bye bye. Oh my god. That. What is this guy? I'm going to have to. Hang on. Next up, we have some Pop Tarts. Every American and Canadian's favorite snack growing up as a kid. I've heard lots of good things about Pop Tarts, but I've never tried one. So. Mm. And for Ryan, I've got some custard creams, the traditional British biscuit. Ooh, so. this is delicious. Have you had Pop Tarts before? No. First Pop Tart. Strawberry flavored. What does it taste like? Why? It's alright. Yeah. Sugary. Mm -hmm. I don't really eat them now because it's just like. Mm. Alright. Okay. So I am gonna try some custard creams. No, they just taste like biscuit. So next up, we have some goldfish, which I ate as a child all the time. Do you guys have goldfish here? Do you goldfish? What, the food or the, the goldfish? You don't eat a physical goldfish, it's just a, it's like a cracker. I've never seen these before. And so I brought Cadbury Jumbo Animals. I used to eat these as a child a lot as well. You should like these. I like that because it has chocolate in it. <laughs> Usually, you just put a bunch in your little hand here, and they're little goldfish. Oh. You'd be like, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And then you just eat the goldfish. You're just gonna say they're eating them all. Oh yeah, so it's supposed to be you trying to eat them. 
You You just ate Nemo. <laughs> you just ate Nemo! So, we have some Cadbury Jumbo animals and these are melted. <laughs> you give this to kids? Yeah. This looks like full sugar. Exactly. Delicious. Ooh, it's an elephant. In terms of candy, I found some Swedish fish, which I don't really eat, but it's actually apparently a Canadian candy. Oh, okay. Who knew? And for sweets, not sweets. candy, candy. I have bought some Maoams. Oh, so very bloody brilliant. Very traditional British candy. Oh my god, you have so many flavors of Maoams. So Alistair is gonna try some Swedish fish. Chewy. Yeah. Oh, really nice actually. I don't know why they're called Swedish fish. If they're Canadian, I don't really know why they're called Swedish oh, fish. Right. We just love Swedish people. And now it's time for you to try some strawberry Maoams. All right, here we go. First Maoam. It tastes like plaster. But do you like that? <laughs> no, we do not like that. plaster. So I know a lot of British people do not like this kind of chocolate, but I have here some Hershey's chocolate. Oh. Heck. I don't know why they don't like Hershey's chocolate here because, because I it think it's delicious. Tastes like poo. How does it taste like poo? Hershey's is freaking delicious. Yeah, but not compared to Galaxy chocolates. Galaxy which is chocolate. Sort of I heard this is good. I'm already having a sugar high right now. Like I feel, I'm shaking. All right. This just tastes like chocolate. Yeah, but compared to that, it just tastes beautiful. No, Hershey's is way better. Alice is gonna try some Hershey chocolate now. I want to see your reaction on your face. I've heard it's so bad. Alright. Okay, go for it. It doesn't taste like poo. Don't worry. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just chocolate. <laughs> it's so much better than Galaxy, is it not? No. Why? Like... No. No. It's awful. Okay, I think this is the biggest debate. Comment down below if you prefer Hershey's or Galaxy. Hershey's is where it's at. Galaxy is where it's at. Not no. that shit. No. Not this, this is the shit. This is the best. No, no. So next up, we have every Canadian kid, every American kid's favorite drink, Kool-Aid. And from Britain, the traditional British squash, Robinson's. See, squash, when someone says, oh, I love squash, I thought it was like the vegetable. I thought you guys were like obsessed with the squash vegetable. So I'm gonna get Alistair to drink some of this Kool-Aid and I'm gonna drink some of this squash. Okay. No, 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 wait, 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 no, no. What? You have to mix it with water. I got something made for you earlier. Oh, okay. Here. Oh, magic, water. magic! Oh my goodness, the magician. Squash. Squash. Yeah. That, that sounds wrong. That sounds wrong. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, that is nice. So I've noticed that uh, this isn't a drink either, Ryan. It's powder. Oh, is it powder? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some of the powder. Yeah. Okay. How put much? it in there. How much? Just a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. And then you just fill it up with water. And see how there's no artificial flavor? Oh, I was gonna say no artificial color, but then it's pink for some reason. Stir it up. You got it. You got it. How's it taste? Yeah, so just, it tastes fake. Does it taste fake? Yeah. It, is it, it's because it's in powdered form. Mm. Did you actually just eat the powder? Not uh, bad. Sh Not bad. <laughs> what, does it taste like strawberry kiwi? It tastes much stronger than that. Does it? That tastes really nice. Yeah, try yeah just eat, yeah, well, you know. Just eat white powder. It's okay, guys. Oh my god, that does taste good. Pure maple syrup all the way from Canada. <laughs> so sweet! It's full of sugar. I feel like a, I'm turning into a Canadian. A Canadian already! <laughs> We're gonna get fat after this. Mm. 